Hi, I'm Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today's Friday, that's when we do some crafting. And before we get started, I wanna thank my subscribers and just let you know how much I appreciate you and your comments, your thumbs up, all the things that you do that are helping my channel to grow. And if you haven't subscribed, I would sure love to have you join us. So the first part of the video, I don't know what was going on, but my recording did not record. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I did making the little gnome itself but I didn't have the video of actually doing that. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was to cut a sock and I am showing you here, I cut it right across the heel and then I filled it with rice to about there and then the rest of the way with fiberfill. You can do it all the way if you want and put a rubber band at the top, put a beard on and the gnome was done for now. So then I grabbed a napkin. I think this is one that I got at Dollar Tree I'm cutting it to fit the side of the cup and just kind of measuring and I'm going to decoupage it onto the cup itself. So now I'm putting some decoupage on and just trying to be really careful when I'm doing this because I'm using just my fingers to smooth it on instead of saran wrap this time. And you just have to be kind of careful because the napkin can get pretty fragile. So I'm just doing a section at a time and you'll see I'm not doing the very top of the cup. It's actually the bottom of the cup, but it's going to be the top when it's the hat. I do that later. I just cut some pieces to fit and then decoupage them on and just blended it in with the rest. I just figured trying to do all of that in one piece was going to make too many wrinkles because of the different layers or levels or whatever you want to call it, the top of that cup or the bottom. We're going to call it the top from now on. So after I got it all the way around, then I took the extra and just folded it over and put it inside the cup. And I guess I'm ahead of myself because now I'm just doing around the handle. Just trying to get it as smooth as possible. And I apologize when I go out of frame. I'm still getting used to this new camera mount. I love that it's overhead and you can see what I'm doing a little bit better, but I have a problem keeping in frame, <laughs> as you can tell right there. So I'm just smoothing it all in the inside. And now I'm getting ready to cut a piece to put around the handle. So I'm using my water pen. I have talked before about how when you cut things with a water pen, you have that kind of a, a jagged edge. It blends in better when you are doing the decoupage. For some reason, it just doesn't show the edges as much as if you were to cut it with scissors. So I'm just doing my water pin to cut that extra off, putting it all the way around the handle, and I am just about done. Now I do put another coat over the top of everything just to make it more durable. And now I am cutting just some little pieces of the picture, and I'm going to decoupage, decoupage those onto the saucer. So I'm using my water pin, just tracing around it with the water pin, holding onto the picture itself and trimming away that extra. And I just cut quite a few things so that I have enough to go all the way around. You, of course, don't have to do the center of the saucer because that is where your gnome is going to sit. And while we're watching this, I'd love to know where you're watching from and just anything about you that you'd like to tell me so I can get to know you a little bit. You know, nothing per too personal because it is a public forum. So now I'm just decoupaging all those little pieces onto the outside of the saucer. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear that, but we have some major thunder and lightning going on here in Montana. Wow. That was loud enough. I bet it's going to, I bet you're going to be able to hear it. So anyway, I'm just putting them all over and I just add more as I need it until I get it to where I, I like it. And you can put as little or as much as you want. And you can use a solid piece of napkin. I just kind of thought with this design, it'd be easier to cut things out and put them on. And then I didn't have to worry about trying to get it to go on a round surface nicely, I guess you would say. And I save all those other little pieces because, I mean, I can use those hummingbirds on something else, even though they wouldn't fit on the saucer very well. And so now I'm just kind of finding little pieces to just fill in some of those white areas just so it's not quite so empty looking, I guess. And here he is. I think he turned out so adorable. 
By the way, to attach the hat to his head and him to the saucer, I used a little E6000 with some hot glue and then just put his nose right on top. And I did add some little flowers from the napkin onto his feet. I think it just added a nice little touch. And last but not least, I added a fluffy flower and some leaves to the top of the hat to make it look more finished. I think it turned out just adorable.